What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Mystic Watch, and today we're going to be going over the dev notes. So, this came out a few days ago, and I never got a chance to really go through and, um, you know, see what's actually coming up. As for recent video, I uploaded my two upload videos, part one and part two. Be sure to check them out. I'm going to start a, a new thing and just give myself a little bit of motivation and start dropping like goal on my videos. That way, if I hit the like goal, you know, I'm obligated to upload immediately within the next 24 hours of hitting that goal. So I've been hitting it at 150 and we hit it the first day. Like we hit, we hit it on the first one. We're, you know, close to hitting it on the second one. And I want to, I want to just keep it like that. So, you know, 150 likes, like I'll always still upload a video regardless. But as soon as that hits 150, you know, expect the video out the next day immediately. So I appreciate everyone who's been doing the support, been giving me all the help. And let's get, uh, let's get into it. So, there's a good amount of stuff. Now keep in mind, uh, I know Nagato also clarified this as well. Is that, uh... A lot of the stuff on the dev notes are things that they are looking to change, not things that are like expected to come out next week, right? These are not patch notes. These are, you know, insights as to what, what they're doing in the game. So a lot of uh, improvements to PvP is geared PvP, right? So specifically for challenger rank, once you get to challenger rank is that... um. The, this rank right here, that's Challenger. Once you get to that point, that affects this. So if you're not getting that, it really doesn't matter to you. But they're, they're pretty much making it where, you know, if you're Challenger, your position in Challenger will now be based on the amount of points you get while in Challenger. So once you hit Challenger, then it's just a points-based system, right? You, you keep winning, you keep winning, you keep getting more points. Simple as that. Uh... Let's see, stuff, 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 stuff. Okay, who cares? That's fine. Like, that. that's really it. They're going to start implementing seasons that last four weeks. 100 players will get season points. And then, you know, winning in the Challenger Leagues. And there will be special rules. And, of course, there will be rewards. Besides that, not that big of a deal. Like, the points are nice, but you end up stacking them so high. To where it's like, you can't even buy stuff. That's why I never cared about getting beyond... Like, once you hit Challenger, I didn't really care about going for a top 100 ever. Because it's just too much effort for not that much more rewards. New content. This will be the four-man raid coming up. This, I don't know if they explained the... Uh, they explained the rewards yet. I don't believe so. But, the leader will select the difficulty of the raid. Raid members will be fighting individually, taking down the shared HP within the time limit. So, I got out this this one sentence is what confuses me. If it's like... Are we going to be doing... So, right now, you know, you have two people in a raid, and you go, you take your turns together. I wonder if they're expecting us, like, if it's going to be all four people taking a turn, or something different. This is just, like, a little bit ambiguous, because the way they say it is... Taking down shared HP. Well, they say they are fighting individually, right? So, like, are we actually playing together or no? That's what I want to know. Uh, showcase, yada yada. Stuff, stuff, stuff. This is a little bit of a controversial thing that I wanted to go over. Or, I, I should say, this is perceived as a controversial thing. And I wanted to explain costume growth a little bit. For players aiming to be even stronger, we plan to introduce a system... To grow all costumes of different rarities to become UR. This way you are able to equip your favorite costumes a lower a rarity, you know, while increasing your CP. So currently, the only way to get UR costumes is by buying them. You get a UR uh, outfit. When I say by outfit, I don't mean the the full three-piece set. I'm just talking about the, the body part. Or the clothing part, I should say. When you get uh, a character to UR, they have a UR outfit. Besides that, for the head and the weapon, you need to purchase them with gems or money. And if you're buying it with money, that means you're buying the three-piece set. If you're buying it with gems, you're buying it individually. 
And as of right now, I think 99% of the costumes available, there was like once where, or maybe twice, where a costume came out for money and it was not available for gems. But that's that was a while ago. And besides that, any costume that comes out with money will always be available uh, to purchase at gems towards the end of the patch, right? Like before, like usually one week before the costume goes away, it'll be available with as gems. So you can buy everything. And I've bought the last three or four full sets of costumes with gems only. And that's just because spending money on costumes, you know, is definitely a good way to spend money, you know, if you plan on spending it. But it doesn't mean you have to. You can easily get, you know, full UR sets and multiple UR sets on characters uh, just through gems. Now, this is making it a little bit easier on us. Because the thing is, we can already get UR stuff. So what they're saying here is, you can now get SR, you know, costumes. So things that only cost 10 and 20 gems instead of 30. You can pick those up and you can increase their rarity. Now, what I'm assuming is, if a UR... We'll just take a random example. If you get 1500 HP from a, from a UR, you know, head headpiece. A, taking a SR up to a UR will only give you... 1100 or 1200 that is what i'm going to think about it like let's say the the sr only gives you 800 right now it'll increase it by going to ur but it'll, it will not make it you know the same value as the ur otherwise you would just never buy ur gear ever they have to make the purchasable ur gear better than any any of the other ones it's the same concept of if you pull an ssr character awaken them to ur and if you take a, a rare character and upgrade them all the way to UR, whose stats are going to be higher, right? Besides that, the materials will be obtainable from Hell Raids, which is really nice because I don't do Hell Raids at all because there's no reason to. There, It's just a really long time. It is not really worth it because on any difficulty, you get the same amount of... The only thing that changes from one difficulty to the other one are the rarity of the gold chests. If you don't care about that, you can do... I'm so lazy recently, now that, you know, I know Global's coming out. I just, uh, I just do the easiest difficulty for the raids and I auto it half the time. Because I just want the materials and I don't really care too much about the, the gold chests. But at least this gives a reason to do hell. And they'll be available do during world raid as well. Changes to gacha lineup. Okay, so this one I read before, but is a little bit confusing. Every time a new character is introduced, they will be added to the permanent pool. With this system, it will be increasingly more difficult to obtain specific characters as more updates are rolled out. Especially true for new players, yada yada. Given the current situation, we plan to separate the permanent character gacha and change the gacha lineup. We plan to increase the rate of three different SSR characters every day so that players will have a better chance to obtain the desired characters now what i'm hoping this means is right now if you open up the app and the banner where we do our discounted single every day so you know you do our one one gem single that banner i hope they're saying that every day they'll rotate who is featured if that's the case then this is an amazing change uh besides that i i really don't see any other way to do this so i'm I'm going to say that this is going to be a really way to go about it. The only thing that bothers me is the existing gacha tickets will be usable till 30th of April. Why is that? Like, why does this matter? So, uh, this, this confuses me a little bit and has me somewhat worried. But, I mean, I stockpile tickets for a little bit. I usually save up until I have like 10 tickets and then I use them all. Guild. The biggest thing that I care about this is that Guild War. Guild War is the main reason. Guilds are an amazing concept in any mobile game. But it really comes down to how well they implement them. If a game doesn't have guilds, it's just like less of a... Adding guilds is just one of those things where it's definitely like a community 
thing. It allows you to have your own group of people. You can play either casually or competitively. And you can just go hard at it or, you know, just want a nice group of people to talk to. Now, there's always a sense of accomplishment about doing something with your guild. And, you know, taking pride in that, you know, your guild was able to do X thing or end up at X rank. And for me, I always wanted a competitive guild and be good at guild wars. So as of right now, we can only do guild boss, which is, you know, whatever. If like four people in my guild do guild boss, we already hit top 0%. So to me, that's not an issue. I want to, to you know, get something more out of it. And I'm hoping guild war will be the thing that I'm looking for. But let's see what else we'll be getting. You'll be able to register your own CP within the guild and you can check your CP ranking against your own guild or against everyone else. This is going to be really nice for the sake of... This is this is better for those who are a little bit more competitive. Uh, mostly because it's also a, a nice way to keep keep up with, you know, who's doing stuff in your guild. If you add, every, let's say everyone's at 100k CP and three weeks later... Four or five people are still at 100k CP, meanwhile everyone else is already at 130k CP. You know, you want to, it's it's a nice way and a good way to give information on who's actually playing the game and who's not. Uh, casual or competitive, I think this is a good change overall. Another feature is to be able to check last week's guild boss ranking within the guild. I like this as well. Uh, one thing that I like to do within our own guild is... You know, make sure everyone's doing guild boss. Regardless of the points you're getting, I just want you to complete guild boss. You know, so that you're active. So this way, being able to check the previous week makes it easier for me to, to see who's doing what. Besides that, we're getting chapter 11 and moving on with the story. Definitely means we should be getting Zeldris within the next month. And yeah, that's really it. So I'll be going over whenever there's patch notes and uh, dev notes. I'll probably be going over these to the best of my abilities. I always forget to do this, but shout out to Grand Cross Database. They're extremely, extremely fast with updating all this stuff. New characters, new information. You know, you can also join the... Sorry. Uh, I guess they don't have their Discord up? I'm sure you can find the Discord off their... Uh, off the Twitter. But besides that... You know, that, that's really it. And hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.